Since the beginning of this election campaign, a large portion of Canada's population has been waiting to hear from each of the federal parties and what they will do to break down barriers and meet their needs when it comes to accessibility, only to find they haven't heard much at all. Kate Chung is admittedly a little slower than most getting from A to B, which is why she's listening closely for promises related to accessibility during this election campaign. People with disabilities pay taxes too, but they can't get into any of the housing that's being built now. It's one of many concerns that has repeatedly been brought forward by advocates waiting for the federal parties to act and make specific commitments. What is it you've been looking to hear throughout this campaign? There are over 6 million people with disabilities, uh, most of whom are voters. A letter was sent by the AODA Alliance to each of the party leaders requesting a number of things, including abiding by new rules set out by the Accessible Canada Act passed after the last election. Our tax dollars can and are used to create new barriers with the federal government asleep at the switch. And we think that's an irresponsible use of the public's money. I use a white cane like an extension of my finger. David Lepofsky spends his time pointing out accessibility problems, like this video from a few years ago, highlighting issues with new subway stations. Laws just don't implement themselves. You need a government that's gonna do it. As it happens, voting is actually an issue for Lepofsky as well, because he can't mark a ballot without help. While polling stations have accessibility rules, he still mails his in. He says only the NDP have responded to their request and have made commitments. The other major parties have yet to say anything. It feels like politicians and builders and everyone expects that people with disabilities are still hidden in the back bedroom on the farm. Now, I'm outside Daniel Spectrum in Regent Park right now. This building is relatively new, does meet all accessibility standards. It's also going to be a polling station this Monday. One of the issues that is being brought forward by some of these advocates is making sure that buildings like this being built in the future will, in fact, live up to the National Building Code, which they say also needs to be updated.